if you own a Bentley Bentayga, get this for your 16 year old son or daughter. Yes. Okay. Consumer okay. advice. The non-turbo cars, the motors don't sound Ooh, over top. hot. Very hot. I had a fruit smoothie today. Yeah, I know. It's all over your shirt. That's right. Oh, we must have missed one. I think it went quiet for one of them. Mm. That's right. It yeah. did. Uh, hey everybody, it's Chris and Charlie here with Daily Motor, and today we're driving the 2023 Mazda CX-30 Carbon Edition. Does, does it Emily's have red have interior? A, does Emily have all that plastic cladding? Oh, it does on have the red bottom? interior. Is that standard? Yeah, all the CX-30s have this. The CX-30 has one of the most obnoxious cladding designs out of any car. Yeah. It's, a, it's kind of all it cladding. Is. Yeah. This is a this is a small vehicle. So this is a carbon edition. It comes with black wheels and red interior as an option. You don't have to get red interior, but, but you uh, should. usually they spec the carbon edition press cars with red interior. This one is no exception, and I think it looks quite nice. Isn't it weird to think they made an even smaller crossover? For yeah, while? the CX3. Yeah, that was yeah. way too small. I was dating a girl back in college. She drove an Elantra and she wanted to get a new Mazda because I told her Mazdas were good as we do. Oh, I was literally doing that even before I worked at Car and Did she buy a CX-3? No, she drove to Canada to test drive the CX-3 when it was brand spanking new as a model. And she drove it and she's like, this is too small. I got a CX-5 instead. Oh, and then, yes. okay. Uh, if you know, you know on that one. Let's go ahead and check out the back. Ah, no power. United States Postal Service has other plans for our audio today. Uh, does this ever bother Emily that you have to lift things up out of here? I don't think she uses this area oh, for anything she, ever. Does she get, she it does have a spare though. How does she get groceries? Are they delivered? We take the press car <laughs> to get groceries. So it's almost as if she didn't need a new car. She should have gotten a Roadster. When is she ever going to have things that are... Yeah, more? well she has to drive in the winter so she would need, an, in winter her mind, tires. an X-Drive. They make all-wheel drive convertibles. Yeah, BMW 4 Series. She could have had a four series. She could have. Anyway, um, when you fold these, do they go? No. Oh, great. Okay. Now he's going to leave that for me to take care of because he's going to get in on the other side. No, no, no. I'm going to get in here because you're filming. Oh, right. You know what's going to be great is we're going to look at the price of this car and it's going to be something like $26,000. <laughs> then we're going to wow. be like, wow, that's the best thing ever. Oh, it's a bit tight. It is tight in the back of these. And this is pushed all the way back. It's also a bit toasty. Just Chris is I'm just going to leave the door open. Yeah. Um, uh, but you do have air vents. Yes. And also, Charlie, you'll notice, I bet you any money this is cheaper than the Volkswagen Taos, okay? Okay. Look at the door panels. Yeah, beautiful. Matching Soft, stitching. Matching stitching with the front proper. And auto up and down windows. I need to not be in here. this back seat anymore. That's fantastic. Let's check the Monroney. Mazdas don't have very inspiring sounding door set. All right, how much do you think this costs? 26,000? No. 28,000? No. 24,000? 31,000. So this more. is only 4,000 less than a fully loaded tower. Fully loaded, no, 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 than a fully loaded turbo premium plus. Oh. Emily's car was like 36,000. Okay. And this, because of the chip shortage, does not feature the Bose sound system. Correct. Piano black everywhere, that's gonna look awful in a year or two. Uh, where do you think final assembly is? Japan. No. Really? Oh, uh, Alabama. No. Where? Mexico. Oh. Where do you think the transmission is made? Japan. No. Mexico. No. Uh, Alabama. Thailand. Oh. <laughs> it's like a global car. Very global car. Uh, sorry about the vent, we're trying Toast. to cool it off in here. Yeah, we really are. 65% Mexican parts content. What other YouTubers do you know that get in the car to shoot their review and simply blast the AC <laughs> Instead of giving it 30 seconds to This cool. has 191 horsepower. That's pretty good for a... Ne Why is it dinging? I think that was music. Oh. Can we point out how well it took that speed bump? And the Taos uh, would have sprung itself up into the air. Yeah. Uh, frontal crash test, five star. And a four star rollover. Mm. So don't flip it over. Thank you for that. Try. Uh, but we we quite like the wow. CX-30, if you uh, haven't been able to tell. It's good. 
That engine doesn't even sound like it's trying super hard. Well, we experienced this with the CX-5 carbon edition as well, that the non-turbo cars, the motors don't sound Ooh, over top. hot. Very hot. Um, yeah, no, we, we like both Mazda powertrains, and we also like this six-speed automatic because it isn't trying to be anything it isn't. It's right. just a slush box, and that's okay. Yeah, no, this works great. What I like about the CX-30 is the design of this dash and how everything kind of appears to be more elegant than it really is, but they've done this really nice soft leather on the dash with the red cross stitching, and this doesn't, it doesn't matter what sort of CX-30 you get, I mean, they're all pretty nice like this. Um, the turbo gets a really nice brown contour on the dash and the door panels, which goes really nice with either the black or the white interior. What I really like about the CX-30 is that everything you have to touch regularly, they focused on making feel nice. The, the start stop button, pretty good. The steering wheel feels fantastic. It's a very nice leather and it's a good thinness. All of these buttons, very premium. I know that's a bad point word, but still. We don't use it very often anymore, so okay, it's okay so to it's okay sneak to it in now. there. Yeah. Uh, the window switches, again, having it very fast, auto up and down. Very, very nice for them to do that. And they just make it so that the things you have to interface with regularly feel like you're getting something that's worth $31,000. You don't get that in a lot of other cars for that price. Yes, and you can just have a clock. Yes, yeah. because you simply couldn't be bothered. And then, if you're coming into oversteer... Somewhere to put your sunglasses. You can press good. sport mode. Oh, just kidding. Charlie guys. wants the sun in his no, face. He doesn't. Mustang Maki has interrupted our oversteer. This should be you. Yes, it should. Oh, it's the church bus. It should really be you. Fantastic. Oh, the shifters are wrong. Yeah, it should have paddle shifters though. Look oh, how dorky the, bo the, bottom bo uh, the bottom back of the Mach-E looks. It looks like a minivan. Yeah, it does. The tires are so thin, and it's so like squatty, there's no offset. Yeah. Taking it out to redline. Not quite, 6200. I don't think it'll let you redline it unless traction's off. Oh, that's right. Um, also, Charlie, I don't think you're in sport mode. Oh, I thought I pushed it. Now you're, now you're in oh, sport. Thank you. Yep. Phew, so much faster. Even the sport mode button feels good. Does Emily ever use sport mode in hers? Probably. Hmm. Actually, no, I know she does. I've seen her use it before. That's pretty cool. Yeah. She probably learned from you to like, do that. Put the car in sport mode. Should I pass this truck? Probably not. Ride's fantastic because Mazda didn't put gopping large wheels on it. Very white lights, that's nice. They give you a place to put your Unfortunately, sunglasses. Mazda doesn't give you proper visors, which is a bad Mazda thing. Yeah, but they do give you a handle right here so you can drive like this. They do, yeah. And you probably like the light colored headliner, which I in a car like this you need because it would a black headliner would, would feel very feel like a Supra. Yeah, yeah, it would feel yeah. like a Supra. Now that, that was a bit. That was. Yeah. It just, it came off, it hit the top of the suspension. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, what an easy car to drive. This would just be, if you just didn't have other things to worry about in your life, you get one of these. And that's, I think, why Emily bought one. It's because, like, she doesn't have children. She doesn't have a lot of things to take around. She doesn't have trailers or motorcycles or anything like that. She just needs a nice car to drive herself and occasionally you to yeah. things and places. And that's what the Mazda CX-30 does so yeah. well. A car to take things in places. A car to take two things in places. That's right. Would you like to get a thumbnail? That's a good idea. Let me move this then. Oh god. No, it's okay. I don't know why he's moving it. Oh no, that's, yeah, that's good. Yeah. Okay, one of those will work. God, the wheels are so dark, they like don't even show up. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of painted black wheels. You know what would be cool? Uh, one of these in soul, crystal, soul red crystal and white interior. Close. One of these in soul red crystal with this interior. Oh my gosh, red on red. The blood car. 
you like worked for the American Red Cross or something, you could have one. Yeah, true. Does Emily's have a power passenger seat? I don't think it does. Okay. No, I don't think so. You know what the biggest problem is with the CX-30? The CX-5 exists. That's right, yeah, and my other friend, Callie, uh, she owns a CX-5 and she loves it. Do you remember how much that? I keep for? selling Mazdas. That's that's just what happens. We, we we I mean we both do it. Yeah. Sorry. Anyways, do you remember when we drove that CX-5 Carbon Edition and it only cost like thirty two thousand dollars? Yes. I would have that over there. Yeah, it's only a thousand dollars more. Yeah, and you're getting a much more large, a much larger car. The Topher got one of these and then proceeded to have an child and yeah. had to get rid of it. You can't have a child with one of these. This right. is a single person car or a person with a without children yeah. yes or your children have to be large enough to sit on that's true yeah so retired as well can be yeah retired from having children yes i like the way the steering wheel feels in this car it's a nice leather See? you've got adaptive cruise control in here i mean this feels newer than the cx-5 um, yes overall it does. Because it is a newer car, but the CX-5 has been the same for a very long time. And it's a good formula. It's a good formula, but if you want something that feels a little bit more this decade, um, I would say go for the CX-30. Unless you have children, then I probably shouldn't. But uh, You know what you could have children with? The Volkswagen Taos. But you'd have to get That's the front-wheel drive car, because if you've got the all-wheel drive with children, they'll be sick. They'd be sick. Because you'd right. be jerking They'd around be... with that dual-clutch automatic transmission. Yeah. Yeah. Handling's quite nice. Mm -hmm. Mazda's drive really nice. Can you get cooled seats? Does Emily's have cooled seats? No. That is a reason to get the Volkswagen. Yeah, you can also heat and cool at the same time in the Volkswagen. I would still have this overall, um, and I'm sure you would too, over the Taos. But there are things, of course, I mean, we can't just be 100% positive about every Mazda. There are some things that uh, sure. you aren't able to get. And also, what I've found with Mazda's is it's tough to pick what trim you want because there's, there's so many. many. Mazda needs to streamline their trims. Yeah, there's like eight different trims of the CX-30. I think there's think. 11 of the CX-5. No, sorry, of the CX-90, there's 11 different trims. Yeah, so. It's way too many. It's a little overwhelming. Yeah, Mazda, um, you need to figure that out. Man, this would have been a great car to take to uh, Peoria. Yeah. Except the gas tank's probably really small in this. Yeah. And then you, you've already taken CX-30's places. That's true. Yeah. You can tell that we quite like this car because we really don't have all that much to say because it's That's just usually like, how it goes with cars like this. Yeah, that are quite good. That we like, yeah. Yeah, we'll have more to say on the wrap because that's after we've spent a week and we can go, oh my gosh, it was so nice driving this car all week. Well, we won't be spending a lot of time in this because we also have Ann Bentley. Yeah, do you think many Mazda CX-30 owners park their CX-30s in order to drive their Bentayga? That's good, that's good. Uh, no. Ah. <laughs> And like, However, you know what I could see though? The the sixteen year old yes. having this? Yes. Yeah. This she, is a very probably get her the turbo, but yes, the yeah, CX right, thirty right. in general. Yeah. So if you own a Bentley Bentega, get this for your sixteen year old son or daughter. Yes. Okay. Consumer okay. advice. So we can just wrap the review right there. Da -da 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 we don't even need an outro. Um if, Charlie, if Paris and Nicole had a 16 year old, this, is yes, this would be a good one for them. Uh, so Charlie and I will be spending some time, I don't know how much time, but some, a, yes. in a the CX-30 Carbon Edition. And I will probably drive this over the Nissan Z, because I don't like the Nissan Z. I might drive this over the Z too. Yeah, the Z is in my... Okay. He saw me. I saw him. We made, right, eye, contact. made eye contact. Right? Yeah. Um, but yeah, we're going to spend some time with this, and we will See be back with seconds. you shortly. Check those out together. Those look nice. Makes the Z look like a porker, though. Yeah, it does. When did Z become like the performance car letter? What do you mean? Well, you got a Z3 there, and we had a Z4 this morning. Now, now we have a Nissan Z here. That's Z-licious. Okay. Do the cut now. Okay. Wrapping up our week with the 2023 Mazda CX-30 Carbon Edition non-turbo. Charlie, you've spent quite a bit of time in this thing, mm -hmm. and I'm curious to hear your thoughts because this car is kind of important to me-ish because I've always liked the CX-30. Mm -hmm. The Topher had a CX-30, mm -hmm. and now my girlfriend Emily has a CX-30 turbo. Yeah. So lots of CX-30s in our world. And there's a and lot to talk about with this car too, which is, which is exciting for me. And also, 
I think it's fitting that this is the last car you and I are going to be reviewing together for a while because it's a, yeah. it's a good car. It's it is a good car. Uh, yeah. Mazda has one thing that if they fixed would drastically improve the experience of this car. And I'm going to okay. show it to you. Is it no rear proxy key? No. Oh. The doors do sound kind of cheap. Yeah. yeah. That's not When they bad, close, it's okay, but the actual handle itself is it's cheap. It's that kind of like tinny the sound. Tin People don't sound. like that. Yeah. Are you driving first? Sure, I can drive first. As we know, everyone comes to Daily Motor for passenger seat impressions, and we're gonna go out with the bang here. Yeah. Oh, we must have missed one. I think it went quiet for one of them. Mm. That's right. It yeah. Did. Uh, <laughs> Alyssa told me she would not buy this car solely because of those beeps. Really? Yeah. She kept thinking. You could thinking... just get in and put your seatbelt on, and then it won't no, do it. No, that's not it. I promise you, watch. Because that's what she thought as well. Or is that just... Yeah, it's, it's the seatbelt. It's the seatbelt? Yeah. What else would it be? I thought it just bonged a lot. No. So if you get in and before you even start the car, you put, put your, your seatbelt on it, it won't bong. All right. Well, so that's, that's a good. top tip. If that you own a, a, if you own a Mazda, I put your seatbelt on before you start the car. Okay. No, that's that's good to know. Okay. This car also has one just general problem, and I just want people to know about it because we're about we're about to say a lot of good things about this car. Yeah. So I want to get the bad out of the way first. First of all, Chris will it's roast me. So hot in if, here. Uh, if we don't get some what are you trying to do? It's here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's too small. Mm. It just it fills up so quickly in the back. It we does. put a lot of things in there. We're about to be murdered. Or he wants to sell me. Why do people economy. just stop in the middle of the road? He's texting. Well, good for him. To I guess stop. that's okay, but look, there's a place here he could have gone. And that's not. He could have turned on. But yeah, it's too small. We put things in the back. We went to Home Depot and then came to the shop here, and all of a sudden I'm like having to put like sharp things on the back seats, which I don't like. Instead, didn't you the put the seats down? But oh wow, you properly Charlie this car, didn't you? Did I? Yeah. Is it bad? No, it's. I mean, it's not it's damaged. Just it's just dirty. And that's what I'm saying. Is it's just like. You, and then when you do put the seats down, they don't fold down all the way because you'd have to come to the front and scoot the driver's seat all the way up just to fold the seat. It's just, <laughs> I, we saw this with the Topher. There he was like, oh, this is a great car. It'll be fantastic. And then they had a one child and had to get rid of it. <laughs> because it, it is. I don't think That's people true. realize. Fortunately, your girlfriend, Emily, is a small person. She and, is like perfect demographic for this car because she drives it to work and back yes and that's it she never uses the back seat right and then the the occasional times where she needs to ship a lot of uh, steering wheels or something like that and put the seats down you can get creative yeah I'm just saying I think a lot of people think this car would be okay for them and they don't realize it's it's essentially just a small hatchback it is yeah just with some plastic and lifted and Mazda 3 yeah and the Mazda yeah. 3 is not huge no another thing and this could be because this is a journalist car. Don't kill me. Okay. Did you notice the brakes are a bit weak? No, but I did notice that the engine sounds louder than normal. Mm. And a little grainier than I remember it being. I think somebody has really driven this car. Yeah, because I mean, you really got to push into the brakes, and I don't think that's normal to get it to This slow car down. probably spent some time at a major outlet that rhymes with bar and criber. Yeah, and, and got much performance testing done to it. Speaking of the motor, you do not need the turbo. It's decently quick. You really don't. I mean, this you put your foot down, it gets you up to speed plenty fine, and I got 37 miles per oh gallon on the gosh. oil test in this car. Holy crap. Yeah. You know what's funny about that is, I was, <laughs> I like to tease Emily and basically be like, well, you did. there's no reason that you needed the turbo. Sure. Um, and... We were I, we were driving this car the other day, and she's like, I've been averaging like 23 mpg, and she, she like thought that was great. And I clicked to the average in this, and it was like 34. <laughs> and I was yeah. like, okay, this is getting 10 mpg better right. than you're getting. And um, well, and to be fair, the only reason she did get the turbo was because of the chip shortage, and she wanted to get the Bose. Sound that's right. System. Yes. Well, there were a couple of reasons. That was the main reason is because she wanted the Bose because the Bose is excellent, sure. and that's a valid reason. Um, and also. Another thing is, her car was only like four grand more than this one. Sure. It was like 36000 Um And the other thing is, she came from a Jeep Compass. Okay. And 
based strictly off of numbers that she was reading online, she thought that this would be just a slow. Ah, that simply isn't true. Yeah. Fantastic chassis. Does yeah, Emily drive like this a lot? Yes. <laughs> like roasting the front tires out of a corner. Yeah. No, but she drives faster than I do. Okay. He said the brakes were weak. Oh, well, when heavens. you really lean into them, they do okay. There's just not a lot in the first half. So. Also, I think I just realized there's Charlie droppings in the trunk still. I heard that. Yeah, there's stuff trunk. moving. Yeah. Is it mulch or something? <laughs> no, it's uh, rubber matting. Ah. So, not a bad thing to have back there. But let's get back out of sport mode. Again, glad that there's only two drive modes. Sport and not sport. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to hit rough ride section here. It's going to handle it perfectly. And listen, no creeps or rattles in here. That's true. Only the Charlie droppings in yeah. the back. Mm -hmm. So that's good. I, yeah, that's, that's that an is issue. A that is an issue. Uh, but it does have a handle here for the driver, which is nice. You don't get necessarily quite as many things in here in terms of features that you could on some things like a Taos, for example. No cooled seats. We talked about that. Yeah. But I spent a lot of time in this car. I did the highway fuel economy test. I drove up to Flint and back to sell my F-250. Congratulations. Thank you. And it's just a, such a pleasant place to be. The controls work well, they're intuitive, everything's nice to touch and, and use, and I love the touch screen. I love how you simply hold the home button to get to your Apple CarPlay and, and move back and forth. The sound system, certainly not a Bose, but it's it's fine. Chris and I are kind of giving it a high C tier. Not high a lot C. of power. High C, like the drink. Mm -hmm. And not a lot of power, but compared to the CX-5, this has two woofers down there in the kind of firewallish area and that helps give a little bit of base for for some of your songs right. yeah wireless carplay would be nice but again there's no wireless device charging so right can't yeah. Have that. yeah yeah i just love the design of the interior in the yeah. cx30 yeah it's such a nice place to be it is a really nice place to be and it smells nice mm -hmm. that's a good point yeah it's good to tell the viewers that because they can't smell yet on youtube that's right do you think one day they'll be able to smell? Yes. Someday they'll invent it. Also, the car just looks so cool. It does. I also enjoy this red interior in yes. the, uh, yeah, the carbon car edition variant of the CX-30. Yeah. Power driver's seat. Yes. No power passenger seat. No. But that's uh, the story with every CX-30. You can't have a power passenger seat. Well, and that's kind of what I mean is that you're paying a little bit for the driving experience and for the interior materials more so than you are feature content. So if you're someone yeah. who really wants to optimize your dollar uh, for how much bang for your buck, I guess, maybe the Mazda CX-30 isn't the best idea for you. But if you are a person that only drives yourself to and from work and enjoys taking entrance ramps in a zesty manner and enjoys nice interior materials and potentially a nice sound system, mm -hmm. then this is the car for you. Yeah. And we always recommend Mazdas. I mean, both of us, I mean, we should be on an affiliate program for Mazda really with the should. amount of ones that we've, that we've sold. Mm -hmm. um, but I mean, it goes to show we do put our money where our mouth is with recommendations and That's a lot true. of our friends drive Mazdas. Mm -hmm. so. And only one of them has blown up. That's right, but it was under warranty, and she had it fixed. And the entire time it was in the sh in the shop, she had a loaner, brand yes. new CX-5. Yes, that's good. Yes, I love how the stitching here and, and leather goes across the main part of the dash. I mean, that, it's really nice. It is nice. Yeah, I love I love the dashboard in this car. It's like one of my favorite yeah. favorite things. You know, I love leather on dashes. Mm -hmm. and this whole dash is leather, so yeah, it's nice. It's, it's great. I would still get the CX-5. Okay. Yeah. I'd get a Miata. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. I would get a base CX, uh, a second up from base, an S, CX-5, and a Miata. What about a CX-90? I'd get this. Yeah. Yeah, I, I quite like I that. like the CX-90, too. Yeah. Do we like all the Mazdas? Like the Miata? I'm not like the, the biggest Mazda. fan of the CX-50. Oh, the CX-50 is not great. Yeah. It's, 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 it's a cool car, though. Yeah, it's cool. It's, it's very cool looking. The MX-30. Oh, the MX-30, that's... Well, I don't think that counts because you can't get it in Michigan. Sure. When we move to California, I'm going to pitch to Mazda. They just give us a long-term MX-30. They should because yeah. it would fit your lifestyle. Right, and it would do better. It'd probably get more better. like More, more better. better. It'd probably get a more glowing review as a long-term than it would as a short-term. 
you know, because once you lived with it and realized that, like, yeah, 100 miles That's true, miles because is fun, un under short-term impressions, that car awful. is just, yeah. Why is this person turning right? You think they're going... They're probably going to get their semi-truck serviced. Oh, by the uh, Romanian gentleman? Yes. Mm -hmm. Maybe they're wrapping up a winding road there. They could also be doing that, yeah. Oh, Shannon is, uh, what's, is he kayaking? What is he? Oh, that's a ladder. He's laddering. Ladder, bro. Anyways. Uh, you'll have to do some cutting in there. Yeah. It's a bit boring. Sometimes we get a little off the rails in this section. We do, yeah. This piano black is not good. No. I was looking at Emily's yesterday. It's already very dusty. It's good to know. Because uh, I was going to ask you, how is that holding up in the real world? Essentially, yeah. hers is just a long-term test. Exactly. She's got like 1,600 miles on it at this point, Eesh. which is hardly anything because yeah. she's had it for like three months. <laughs> But she got the lowest mileage on the lease, so. Okay. If it were your car, you'd have 5,000 on it already. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. We put 20,000 miles on our shortest range Tesla ever within a year. Yeah. Just realized how hungry I am. Mm. I had a fruit smoothie today. Yeah, I know. It's all over your shirt. That's right. That's because I had a lot of alcohol in my stomach last night, and so I wanted something kind of fresh this morning. Mm. Did you end up having more after I left? Yes. Yeah. How much more? Some? About a beer. Oh. Yeah. Fine. Allegedly. Yeah. Um, Alyssa wanted a Blue Moon, but they didn't have Blue Moon. That's weird. They yeah. probably had Modelo. Well, they had Oberon. Oh, Oberon's good. Right. It's pretty similar. So uh, I just told her, I just gave her the beer and didn't you tell her it was, it was Oberon. Beer. I, just, she... I didn't tell her anything. I just gave it to her. Oh. She was like, oh, cool, because it still had the orange in it and everything. Oh, so okay. She just, she just consumed it. I don't think she knew that it was found. Until this review drops, then she'll know. Oh, yeah, because she'll watch to the end of this. <laughs> I'm going to put it right at the beginning <laughs> and send it to her. Great. Okay. <laughs> let's let's stop. <laughs> uh, do you think if Paris and Nicole had offspring, oh, they this would 16? Yeah. The only problem is it's not the turbo model. But we're telling you, Paris, Nicole, your kids don't need the turbo. This one's plenty quick, and you'll save money on gasoline. Yeah, I'm sure that's their biggest concern. Well, you know, Paris is a businesswoman. She wouldn't want to make frugal choices. That's true. Okay, well, as I'm sure you all know, we like the CX-30, we like Mazdas, and we had a pretty good week with this non-turbo variant, which was good because we've really only spent time in the turbo, what? Well, you, uh, sorry, I was going to let you finish, but you can see how the plastic cladding has kept the bottom of the car safe it's while true. it's got dirty on the dirt road that it took. Yeah, you have, you have fully Charlie. You've done the full Charlie test on this. Mm -hmm. Okay, well. Drove it to the hood, ate food in it, took it to church, got it dirty. Yeah. Put things in the back. Full Charlie test. Full Charlie test. Okay. And that's Daily Motor. All right, and that's Daily Motor. All right, well, that's going to wrap it up for us today. We are Chris and Charlie here with Daily Motor. And for the last time, for a while, mm -hmm. cladding on. Ooh. How about... Can't you zoom, can't say zoom. zoom. No, it's feel alive, isn't it? Hold on. I think it is. Feel alive. <laughs> what is? What's the new thing? Can you get a rooftop tent for these? That'd be fantastic. That would be cool. And for the last time, for a while, feel alive. On. On. Wait, wait. Let's see what. Let's see what droppings we have in the back. Oh, that's true. Jeez. Hold on. Standing, moving. Oh, standard moving blanket. This just looks like. It's just rubber. Is that so your cats don't de defecate in the Maverick? No, it's so that uh, the table doesn't slide around in the trailer. Oh, it's like grippy. Yeah. So you're going to put the table on its... Yeah. I, I see. don't know why. That's an illicit thing. Okay. Well, it could be good. Yeah. Okay. Well, Charlie's moving on. Yep. I feel alive. There's a Drake song called Look Alive, I think. No, that's uh, Race Rumored. The look alive, look alive. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, you're right. That is something right.